know, if years ago you had told me that one day I would be watching my Sim, who's actually grown a beard all on his own and possibly needs a shave pretty soon, and is pregnant with alien twins, stand next to his trio of little goats while admiring his glowing gemstones that he carved at his own gemology table, and left under the moonlight so that they would gain special properties, while standing next to a meteor that almost, like, you know, smashed him in the head and killed him, I would have been... To be completely honest, very impressed, very impressed indeed. And that's not even talking about the fact that we happen to be on a, uh, a ranch that has a cave system under it and on top of it a couple times over with a bunch of horses and horse manure and a whole bunch of wonderful, wonderful plants, including several very exotic <clears throat> modded uh, species such as the lovely corn stalks or, well, the tomatoes aren't really like imported from other uh, realms let's just say but i'm pretty sure that the purple tomato bush is yes and then also the wheat plant <laughs> and then also the field corn plant all right look i've got a little bit of work i need to do on this corn <laughs> oh, but i have a little bit of work i need to do everywhere in fact let's redefine the word little to mean a lot <laughs> But hello everyone, and welcome back to our 101 Fulls Ranch to Riches Challenge. Where, I, I mean, think about everything I just listed off to all of you. <laughs> think about all of that! There is so much going on! Uh, thankfully, I'm very glad that Rocky and Ashlyn happen to be the type of people to completely forget about most of their projects and prefer to just focus on whatever is happening in front of them. And right now, what's happening in front of them is the fact that we do have the charged, now no longer charging because the moon has gone down, sun up, that's the way it works here on this planet at least, uh, the charged gemstones that Rocky carved a little bit ago. We have the amethyst now carved up into a carbacon shaped gemstone, and it will actually go ahead and it will give energy faster when Sims are sleeping, and Sims have a chance to wake up with the inspired lucid dream moodlet. And then the sapphire will allow Sims Dead to take on mental activities uh, that will gain skills faster and they will be less likely to burn out. Very nice, both excellent quality. Pretty proud about Rocky for that. Uh, and you can hold up to seven gemstones and it tells you when to charge them. <laughs> You know, if some of us played with the boringness of headlines on, maybe I would have figured it out sooner. But I like a good challenge, right? Also, how do I use these things? <laughs> I know we can go ahead and sell them, but come on, Rocky, until he has like a glittering, shining collection, would absolutely not put that down. Oh, we can just have it in our inventory? That's awesome! Rocky, my, my man, that's so cool. Also, I forgot about the kitchen sink. Oh yeah, so welcome back. <laughs> All right, Rocky, let's get you down here. Uh, and then I also need to do something with these dyes that have been sitting in his pockets for ages. We're just gonna go ahead and say goodbye to those. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the kitchen. Yeah, I have a little bit of explaining to do. Basically, I got in a fight with the kitchen sink. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was trying to have Ashlyn just throw a dish into the kitchen sink and she would not do it. She would not do it. She would not do it. And so finally I became so fed up. I decided to sell absolutely everything extra that we had inside of the household inventory uh, and everything extra that we had inside of Ashlyn's and Rocky's pockets, which turned out to be a lot of plants and used that very fine uh, big harvest to go ahead and uh, have a new kitchen yep totally didn't just keep trying to put down a kitchen sink and then continued to get more and more frustrated and then ended up having Rocky and Ashlyn expand their cave system so that we would have enough room to go ahead and put the kitchen sink in yeah I, I did <laughs> all of this is because I couldn't get the kitchen sink to work but hey, it does happen to have this absolutely drop-dead gorgeous Woodland Ranch set. And this is actually from uh, Pierre Sim, who makes amazing furniture. He has a, a wonderful Patreon that like I follow along just to admire all the stuff he makes. I almost never notice what I use for decorating houses, as you, as you may have noticed. 
<laughs> so the fact that I've been so enamored with this to the point where I ended up just selling more and more of the stuff that we had laying around, which sounds like a very Rocky and Ashland way to manage your family finances, and until we ended up with this. Like, we went from trying to get a functional kitchen sink to a new fridge, a dish freaking washer, a pressure cooker. Who threw that? Like, it's literally everything and the kitchen sink, where the kitchen sink became everything. <laughs> we even have a cookie jar down here for crying out loud. And yes, you can get cookies from it. We also have a pizza oven for the very first time. And um, we've, got a, we've got a lovely little hot tea kettle that I don't know if it actually produces the type of coffee that Rocky is looking for. <sighs> but maybe he won't need coffee now that he can apparently nap and re-get his energy a bit faster. And we also have a little mailbox down here that... I am going to keep, even though it's kind of weird to imagine a mailbox here, but we're just going to say this is one of the ways that Ashlyn is able to keep track of her plopsy sales. Because having her hoof it all the way, all the way up the stairs, all the way over here to go to the mailbox was driving me bonkers. On the flip side of that, though, it just occurred to me, we can dig a tunnel. <laughs> I could start working on digging a tunnel and we can just dig a tunnel all the way over here because I'm too lazy to send her up and, and make her walk all this way. And we can have her go ahead and climb another stairwell up here just to like get to the mail fast. Or we can go ahead and have a little mailbox downstairs that we're just going to say is her way of helping to, you know, organize the plopsy sales. Also, don't mind this broken uh, fossil. It's from Rocky's inventory because, like I said, everything and the kitchen sink, including the cat. Yes. So, while going ahead and trying to get the kitchen sink to work, uh, it became apparent to Ashlyn that a certain feline, where did he go? A certain feline, Geppetto, has been fighting with a lot of squirrels and she got worried enough about that. Oh, there he is. She got worried enough about that that she decided to go ahead and bring him inside. So Geppetto is now a cave cat. Yes. We should get him a new outfit to celebrate that fact. I think that would be absolutely adorable. Uh, and we have a little cat tower for him so that he can go ahead and relax uh, if he wishes to. He hasn't used it, possibly because Ashlyn tried to, you know, add a little friend for him by putting this big plushie in here. So, you know, he wouldn't feel lonely since he's an only cat. I really think he prefers it that way. Uh, but he's kind of ignored it so far. And then he's been fighting with the slime. So there is a family narrative that he and the slime need to stop fighting. Uh, he does get fed more regularly down here than upstairs though. So Geppetto's pretty happy about that. And he also has been eating nonstop off of the new counters. <laughs> Which has been driving me bonkers, but here we are. Oh, and we've also got this really cute little produce display where we have some really cool produce. Like some of this gym corn and blue corn and these prickly pears and this acorn squash that Ashlyn was able to pick up from the market. And we are totally going to be planting once, you know, these two actually shift to their very flighty focus from gemstones to gem, gem corn. Wait a second, gem corn and gems don't sound so cool. All right, let's see. Do we have any room over here for that? Because I, I have a feeling Ashlyn's suddenly like, all right, I need to grow some of this like gem corn because that just sounds amazing. Maybe we'll swap the regular corn out for it. But uh, that's all for later. For now, I wonder, do we have what we need to try out the new, the new pizza oven? No, we need tomatoes. Do we really not have, wait a second, Ashlyn? Ashlyn, <gasps> we have tomatoes, yes, okay. So she's been working really, really hard on putting a whole bunch of things uh, in her pockets from the garden. Now I'm super excited because we're gonna go ahead. Let's add the food over here. Oh, that's a lot of corn. Wow, that's a lot of corn. Wouldn't mind making a bunch of money off that corn, but we'll put it in here for now. Um, And then, oh, we even have coconuts. Ashlyn, what are you growing? I have not been paying attention to whatever she's got going on up there, including the mystery mushrooms. I don't remember what you can do to this. We're gonna have to find out. Plantains, ooh, the soybeans. I think we can go ahead and turn the soybeans into something. 
but I don't remember how or what. Uh, we've also got a wonderful green beans. Let's drag those up as well. Yellow tomatoes. And then we have a million and a half chanterelle mushrooms. So we'll put those in there. And then maybe ooh, some chili peppers. That sounds delicious. Uh, let's see, a lot of the sage. And then we've got the, eh, we'll put the plantains in there. How do we have plantains? I have no idea. Ooh, pineapple. You know what? Get in there, coconut. Maybe we'll end up making something like really fancy. Thank you, Ashlyn. Your miscellaneous garden has indeed been quite helpful. And now, I think for the very first time ever, <gasps> pizza! I have never been able to make a little pizza before. This is gonna be so cool. So we can do a garden pizza. Pretty much every vegetable tastes better on a pizza. Prepare this dish within whatever season from, uh, yeah, with whatever is in season from your garden. Although we wholeheartedly recommend roasting slices of aubergine inspired by pizza alle malazane and pizza alle parmigianin. Oh, oh my gosh, I, have, I butchered that, apologies. But, oh my gosh, and sweet corn pizza. <laughs> <laughs> we have actual corn and pineapple pizza. I love pineapple pizza. I, I truly do. Let's make a couple pizzas because I've never done this before. And Ashlyn, my dear, I think we might go ahead. She's feeling a bit tense from all of the mice that are running around because Geppetto, you don't really do. Whoa, whoa. Okay, hold up over here. I got to see what's going on. And also, sir, you're wide awake and she isn't. Can I grab that amethyst from you? And I wonder if I can have Ashlyn take a little nap and maybe show us. Let's see, sit and rock. Can she, yeah, there we go. That's we'll see if she can nap while Rocky's making pizza. <gasps> Rocky! Whoa! Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> yes, I have not been able to go ahead and try out the pizza making just yet. Oh dear, wait, do we have a some sort of alarm system? Cause he's just kind of walking away from that. Is he still preparing for it? Or is he making something else? Four, he's making uh, faux meat butter chicken. <laughs> you know what? Let's let the man just be in the kitchen for a minute. He's probably pretty excited to have just come home and he did do his community service by the way. So he does not have to serve a night in jail, thankfully. If he misses community service, that's the punishment. Um, and he went and he took his goats to goat yoga. We might have to investigate goat yoga by actually going to a goat yoga class in the future. For now, I'm just glad he didn't actually like miss that and have to go to jail. And, whoa, we're using the new pressure cooker too. That is inspired, Rocky. That is inspired. No, 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 where are you going now, sir? Aww. Void Critter Fan replies, this package arrived early. Uh, this is everything I wanted more, thank you. Oh, Ashlyn, your stuff's popular. Rocky, did you literally just get out some... No, put the French toast away. I know that that would be really delicious as well, but we've got to celebrate the new kitchen. <gasps> oh my gosh. We made a pizza! Oh, okay, I could totally see him being super into this. He's very attuned to, like, new fads, after all. And let's go ahead. <gasps> I haven't had pizza in our Simlish world in literally years. This is so cool. Did he have a good time doing that? Not really like into it on any specific hobby. Oh, those are some cool mushrooms we have growing on that wall. But unfortunately, that wall also happens to be in our bathroom. So maybe that's a little concerning. Rocky, I can live with that. Also, maybe we should give you a shave, but maybe just a light shave. Also, ah oh man, you know, maybe we'll, we'll give him a little shave. I feel like he feels a little bit, a little bit like he might be um, just, you know, ready to be tidied up around the edges. I loved making that pizza, by the way. <laughs> that was so much fun. That truly was so much fun. Well, uh, let's see. Let's pack one of these into a sack lunch and then see if he can just like keep it in his pockets for once. Because that would be really nice just to be able to pull out a slice of pizza from our, well, actually from our pockets would be kind of weird. Oh, and don't mind this. <laughs> there's, um, there's just dig sites that are popping up ever since, ever since we had this meteor crash into the ground. Ashlyn's going to do something about that. And Rocky, personally, has no problem completely ignoring more dirt on the ground. It can just join all the other dirt and, you know, the, the slime that we have, after all. All right, Rocky, let's see. Do we have anything that we can do over here? 
with any more we do seed shape gemstone and the rose he has that's right he was gonna carve this up for ashlyn i remember now oh can you not do it right now huh what about orange topaz oh he can do it with the orange topaz but i don't know what happened to the rose Oh, it's like missing. <laughs> we'll deal with that later. Um, for now, sir, would you like to go ahead and uh, carve Ashlyn a surprise? Your earbuds have been added to Rocky's inventory. What? What? Rocky. <sighs> Where? How? I, okay, whatever. <laughs> we'll go ahead and maybe we'll go and use that at some point too. But for now, we'll carry on with our gemology polishing. And then maybe even polish up, oh, that's really cool. I hadn't noticed that they had like a little, is there a fancy name for like the magnifying glass that you look through like this for gems? There probably is. It's a gem looker. <laughs> For now, we shall call it a gym looker. And then, is she regaining her energy faster with this, this amethyst piece? Or, let's see, charge remaining two days. And chance to wake up, maybe? It's not like just having her toss down a coffee, I can say that. But maybe it's all going to work out fine. All right, so, yes, we do have a lot going on for our wonderful Sims. Rocky, at least, is able to go ahead and not go to jail. And we kind of need to work on the whole horse training thing. Oh, feeling hurt. And we also have community service again tomorrow. Uh, and missing horses. See, he's missing his horse. Okay, so he, he's trying to figure out how to balance all of these conflicting desires in life. Does he want to go ahead and does... <laughs> And does he want to go ahead and does he want to like find all of the shiny gemstones? Does he want to hang out with his wonderful horse, of course? And how is he going to work on gaining all of his horse riding skill, uh, somehow working with Hercules and being able to go ahead and get him trained up and enter the competitions when he's got babies on the way? There might be a young, bespeckled solution to this that we might go ahead and have come over perhaps next time. Rocky can now design eye jewelry and cut pear-shaped gemstones at the gemology table. Eye jewelry? What? Okay, this is really fun though because he does absolutely adore having shiny things. Ah, all right, let's see. Oh, hey, Ashlyn, you're up. Let's see, did you have a, look at that. So, well, that's just energized from her nap. Awesome. Uh, also, let's see. Knit while listening to music is her next goal for the Lady of the Knits. Um, oh no, don't think about it too hard, Siri. I'm trying to figure out what to do with her because there's just so much going on. Uh, and you know what? I'm beginning to realize that maybe she doesn't need to have so many crops. Maybe, maybe even for her, this might be uh, a little bit much just to keep maintained since there's a whole bunch down here. There's all the stuff up top. Uh, things are going in season, out of season. Some of these things need to be evolved and there we go. At least we have like the chamomile evolved. We also need to go ahead and work with all of the little animals. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, and we also need to figure out a way to go ahead and start working on our secret rocket ship somewhere that's not going to get us uh, kind of eyed up by people that we want to make sure we don't catch the attention of. Too many things for them to be able to manage on their own, especially when the whole point of this was supposed to be you, Hercules. Was supposed to be you. I know. I know. And yes, I could see Ashlyn liking fitness, that's fine. Ashlyn. <laughs> oh, all right, so I think we're going to... Where did Rocky go? I don't blame you for needing to run to the restroom, Rocky. Maybe we can go ahead and have him, since he is also wanting to work on his horse riding skill, maybe we'll have him finish this gemstone, and when he gives her yet another seed for her to have to sort out, I think that Ashlyn's going to kind of be like, right, so... 
kind of fallen out of the whole gardening hobby thing for a minute, especially because shiny gems are apparently what we're like working on. So maybe we'll slim down the selection <laughs> and go ahead and actually uh, just focus on a few plants for a little while. That sounds blissful, to be completely honest. What is your gardening skill at at this stage, Ashlyn? Level seven. Oh, there we go. I love seeing the big weeder. Oh, that makes life so much easier. I think she can use that on... What just happened? <laughs> is our slime choking on cat hairballs? Because it looks like our slime just choked on a bunch of cat hairballs. Oh my gosh. It, it did. It did. It's malfunctioning yet again. This... I... Geppetto. Geppetto. You do not need to look so pleased that you have won this competition. But maybe this is, like, what we get for not having his food bowl at maximum. I feel like Geppetto has struck a blow against his foe. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, let's, let's see if we can go ahead and work on the slime again. Uh, Alright. Well, at least we managed to get a whole bunch of, um interesting parts we might be able to use for anything that Ashlyn who hates doing electronic and uh, handiness work but is good at it because you know alien for her to be able to use but Rocky are you almost done oh actually he's excited about scavenging for parts and he still thinks everything is sparkling clean so not gonna question that and then you're almost there buddy Geppetto I'm <laughs> I'm really suspicious about all of this. Uh -huh. Just so you know. We're gonna go ahead and give you a little pet. But I have a feeling that maybe, just maybe, there's something about this. Let's give him a little scratch for his favorite spot. And then let's go ahead. Maybe change his outfit. Because it's about time. Should Geppetto have no outfit on? I think we should have her actually knit him something new. Also, hold still you. You you don't need to go bake cookies right now. <laughs> Where's the seed? Sir. There it is. There it is. <gasps> Ooh, okay. So it's a normal quality orange topaz. If charged on the crystal grid, sims will take longer to burn out on creative activities. They will gain creative skills faster. They're more likely to create masterpieces, and they will not experience writer's block. All of that sounds amazing, especially because she is into her creative activity right now, which is knitting. And don't worry, we will pick, I, I will write down everything that they're interested in, and we will pick a direction and go for it, and only have a few contingencies for changing what they get up to, if needed. And then let's give friendly gift of seed shape gemstone. Ah. Geppetto, please stop picking a fight Aww. with the, the slime. Oh, it has now spewed ah. trash all over the house. <laughs> <sighs> Meanwhile, you two. Kangaloya. Yaba. Brav. There you go. Aw, that's cute. Okay, so she's happy about the gift. Now, what to do with it? Well, we have a gutsberry for the happy emotion tree over here. Um, let's see. Could we plant this over? Ooh. You know? We're going to go ahead and we're going to uproot this. And we're going to try planting, planting this if we can. Let's see. We can. <gasps> Neat! All right. Also understandable that you want to attend to all of this trash first, Ashlyn. I really appreciate it. At least somebody's thinking about that. Rocky. Uh, no, we're good, Celine. Thank you. Celine works for the Sims in Black, so I think she's just calling Rocky to see if he happens to know anything about the uh, mysterious events that are going on lately. Where are you going, ma'am? Oh my gosh, there's more... What on earth? How is there even more trash over there? Okay, something like... And then there's more over here. Ah. Uh... All right, well, at least we managed to get all that tidied up. Rocky, are you chatting to the tree? You know, if you've got time... Okay, well, Hercules is asleep. I was going to have him go ahead and talk to Hercules if he had time to talk to the tree, but 
Let's get this planted. This is so exciting. I'm very, very much looking forward to this. And then Rocky, if you're missing, I'll just leave him alone. Because I think that's that's going to be one of my other goals is we're going to have to just focus. Ma'am. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> oh no. Our trash is so full. Oh no. Okay. Well, you know, suddenly getting some sort of recycler it, it might have to be one of the next things, especially because I don't think that they really pick up the landfill stuff all the way out here. And Ashlyn, for crying out loud, I missed you planting the seed because I was so distracted trying to clean up after your chaos. These two are literally having more fun playing in the trash than anything else. Ma'am. Are you guys going to volunteer at a recycling center for the community service tomorrow? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> You know what? Now I'm going to make you excavate that and clean up that mess while you're at it. You sir, oh, like, you clean this up too. Clearly, I'm going to have to come up with a list of... No. No, 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 no. Okay. How do you... <sighs> and now I need an outdoor trash in order to get these guys to clean up. <laughs> right. So... Looks like we might be visiting a recycling center for community service next time. And I'll just try to keep these two from having everything else go chaotic. And don't let the pizza go bad for crying out loud. And oh my gosh, somebody probably needs to take care of Rocky. <laughs> this is actually going to be dangerous if I'm going to have to be the one to remember that you put things in this pressure cooker. Oh boy. I love it. And I will try to pick just like the one thing so that we can figure out what the heck he's actually up to. Can you empty this without like getting rid of the food? And I'll make- Oh, Rocky! No! <laughs> That's it! That's it! I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna like somehow clean all of this up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!